Hey, whoa. What's up, garden friends? Jeff here, Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? Hope you're good. I am doing great. Let's talk about an orchid. Not in all about an orchid, but more like a what the heck should I do with this thing kind of video. Let me go ahead and get it. Well, here she is. What do you think? A glowing specimen of a plant, right? Yeah, not so much. So this was, I keep wanting to call it a Schlumbergara. Not, not that, a uh, Schlumberkia. But not really, cause it is now and has been for quite a while a Mermictitibadadadada. Can't say it. I will spell it out here on the screen. Mermictictifolia, I believe. I, I'm not, I should just stop trying. But here's the deal with this orchid. So I got this guy from Moats, I don't know, a few years ago. It's been doing well, but I have had some obstacles here. Now there is a cane here I need to pop out. That's not a big deal, it's not rotten, it's just dried up. That's one thing I do like about these is I'm pretty sure the canes in these guys are hollow, yes? These have a relationship with ants and things happen. I said this is not gonna be an all about video because I don't got that much about it. I give it a decent amount of light similar to uh, the Catlias and whatnot, but I give it more water than I give to them. That's about as much as I got for this guy right now. Clearly not even lighting, as we can see there, but uh, let's go ahead and talk about that. So I received this kind of bare root. It was, and still is, rooted into this piece of plastic screening and what looks to be like the bottom of an old plastic hanging basket. You can see the nice, live, healthier, newer roots green, the dead ones are brown, typical orchid stuff there. The issue I've had is what to do with this. I would have preferred to have potted it, but I have never been able to get the roots out from this horrific mess inside this netting. I could go through and cut, you know, as much as I could out and just leave it in there like that, but you can see even amongst what appear to be dead roots, there are live roots, and these roots are pretty breakable, so I don't want to mess with it too much in that regard. But I would prefer to not have it just chilling like this, and you know that saying, if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, so maybe I'm thinking about it too much. Typically, I have a little hook that this hangs on, and I just hang it just like I would any other mount. The problem with it is I'm not getting even growth doing it that way. So uh, I have thought about maybe setting this on top of a nice piece of lava rock. I mean, securing it very well, not just setting it there and letting its roots take over that rock and mounting it that way. I can't do wood mounts. I mean, I can, but whenever I do wood mounts, they end up with a few of these earwig, I think is what they are, insects, and the ones that show up bite and it hurts bad. It's very painful. So I just, I avoid the wood mounts. There's something in my yard, I don't know, they flock to my wood mounts. And same thing with wood baskets. I don't really do that anymore because of those earwigs. I think they're earwigs. They look like earwigs, but pretty big. And man, they have a powerful bite. So basically what I'm asking is, what, what do you think I should do here? Should I try and cut this off? Because eventually I think the roots are just gonna keep on wrapping through here and getting more and more tangled. Should I just cut off what I can? Should I leave it and just set it on, you know, try and free some of the roots and set it on top of a, a, some type of mix and letting it root itself down there? Because there's a lot of action going on in the roots here. It's plenty of new root growth. So, I mean, you know, uh, should I divide it up, perhaps? Like, you know, I have this piece up here. It has lots and lots and lots of new roots coming out on it. Should I go ahead and try and pop that off while I can? I might let those roots get a little bit bigger first. And there's a lot of options here. The first thing I should probably do is get this guy off of there. I think that'll actually pop right off. Yeah, that, that snapped right off. Nice, easy. Hollow. Very, very hollow. Done with you. Go away. So yeah, despite it not being potted properly or mounted or anything like it should be, it has been doing fairly well for me. It's flowered before and uh, not consistently though, so that's not a great sign. Yeah, I don't know. But that's the point of this video. You guys, let me know what you think I should do here. Because I just cannot quite make up my mind with the options. I think 
trying to get some of the screening off of there and putting on top of a piece of lava, piece of, or some type of porous stone in general that's not too big that I can move around easily. I think that might work well, might look kind of cool. But yeah, that's it. That, that was the whole video. It was more me asking you guys questions and talking about my cute little pain in the pseudobulbs here. What would you do? And yeah, that's it. That's all. Nothing more to say there. Hope everybody's doing well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That thumbs up makes a big difference and I really appreciate it. Comment down below. That's the whole point here. Talk to me. Let, let me know what you think. Your experience with these guys. Have you received them? on this, uh, the bottom, over-rooted into these pots. Oh, talking's hard. I'm so sorry. And you can follow me on Snapchat, Trop Plant Party, Instagram, Tropical Plant Party, and Twitter, Tropical Plant JC. I use Twitter more than anything else. And as always, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.